One day some twisted son of a bitch is bound to teach you a thing or two about living in this cold, godforsaken world. Tokyo Electric Power Company plans to ask the government to cover part of the cleanup and compensation costs after the Fukushima nuclear crisis. It says the work will be too costly for a single company to afford. The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi plant is expected to make the request in its new management plan covering the next two fiscal years. TEPCO will announce the plan on Wednesday. TEPCO says it will set up a new office in Fukushima Prefecture to transfer some of its functions of its head office. It will assign more than 4,000 staff to work there. The utility says it will make an all-out effort to clean up radioactive materials from the crippled plant and to compensate people affected by the accident. TEPCO says compensation and decontamination costs could add up to more than $120 billion. TEPCO will ask the government to review a current framework for supporting the utility and foot part of the costs. It asks for a new plan to be formulated by next spring. Japan's latest key economic indicator fell in September for the sixth straight month. A decline in global demand is a primary reason. Not long after passing an emergency exercise, the Palisades nuclear plant was forced to shut down once again over the weekend. Yesterday, officials discovered a steam leak, the latest in a series of safety issues at that facility. WZZM 13's Alex Shabad spoke to some people in the area who want the plant shut down permanently. The beauty along the South Haven shore has always been the talk of the town, but Marianne Anderson says the tides are changing and she blames the Palisades nuclear plant. The future renter asks, how far are you from the nuclear plant? And that's the first time in history that this has ever happened. The plant's latest shutdown on Sunday was because of a steam leak in one of the pipes, but Anderson wants a more permanent solution. I hope they shut it down, and they should. We're too close to the nuclear plant for there to be any safety issues. The problem was discovered just days after the plant passed an emergency practice drill with local, state, and federal officials. This is the fifth time this year alone the Palisades plant has been forced to shut down, but officials here say that it shows they're catching the problems in time. We could not repair it or isolate it uh, while the plant was in service. The plant's communication manager, Mark Savage, says nuclear safety is the top priority. Do you think the plant's just gotten lucky with being able to catch these things in time? Is there going to be... Absolutely not. Luck does not. We are maintaining the plant every day. Our operators make rounds, and this was a great catch by the operator. That's terrible. You know, the re that just adds to the terrible reputation that they've got. Savage says the plant will continue to shut down if there are any safety issues discovered in the future. You people's lives are at stake in, in, when, you, when anything could happen. And Anderson is afraid the worst is yet to come. In covert, Alex Shabbat, WZZM 13 News. Palisades officials say the leak is currently being fixed at the nuclear plant but they would not give a timetable as to when the plant will reopen. A large number of houses were damaged by liquefaction after last year's massive earthquake in northeastern Japan. A research team held an experiment to test a new method that makes houses more resistant. Tokyo Denki University professor Susumu Yasuda and a major housing maker worked together on the development of the technology. Under the new method, steel plates are placed around the foundation of a house. When liquefaction occurs after an earthquake, soil under the house loses strength and starts to sink. But when steel plates are used, the liquefied soil will stay in place as it can't go anywhere else. Therefore, the house remains upright. Ah. The experiment was conducted in Tsukuba City, northeast of Tokyo. Two model homes were built on a platform that could simulate earthquakes. The house on the left was reinforced by steel plates. Both houses were built on saturated soil. They were shaken for one minute. About 20 seconds later, water began seeping from the ground. The house on the right began to tilt and eventually sank 20 centimeters. The house with the steel plates was flooded but stayed upright. I think this is one of the many effective methods that have recently been developed. The land ministry says about 27,000 houses suffered liquefaction damage in Tokyo and eight other prefectures after last year's earthquake.